Thomas is a tank engine who lives in a big station on the island of Soto. It's a cheeky little engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. He's a fussy little engine, too always pulling coaches about really for the big engines take on the long journeys. And when train comes he pulls the empty coaches away so that the big engine cannot go rest. Thomas thinks no engine works as hard as he does. He loves playing tricks on them, including Gordon the biggest and proudest engines of all. Thomas likes to whistle and roll at him. Wake up, lazy bones! Why don't you work hard like me? One day, after pulling the big express, Gordon had everybody back to the sightings, very tired. He was just going to sleep when Thomas wake came up. It's a cheeky way. Wake up, lazy bones. Do some hard work for a change. You can't catch me. And off he ran looking. Instead of Gordon to sleep again, Gordon took how he could to get back to Thomas. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. His driver and fireman couldn't make him start. His fire went out and there, was a snoot notch steam it was a nearly time for the big express. People were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last Tom started. Oh dear, oh dear, he owned it. He fastened to into the station where Gordon was awaiting. Hurry up you, said Gordon. Hurry up yourself, replied Thomas. Gordon began making his plan. Yes, said Gordon, I will. And almost before the coaches had to stop moving, Gordon refreshed the seat quickly and was coupled to the train. Get in quickly, please, he whistled. Thomas whistled but pushed it behind the big trains to help them start, but the, he was the ways uncoupled. First this time, Gordon started to quickly, they forgot to uncouple Thomas. Gordon changed head calm. Come on, come on, puffed Gordon to the coaches. The train ran faster and faster, too faster for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. He peep, peep, stop, stop. Hurry, 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 laughed Gordon. Gone that way, gone that way. Loved of the coaches. Poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. He was out of the bread and his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on. I still never be the same again, he talked sadly. My wheels are quite worn out. At last, they stopped at the station. Thomas was uncovered, and he felt very silly, and shouted. Next, he went on to the turntable, thinking of everyone looking at him, and anyone on to a sighting out of the way. Well, little Thomas, chuckled Gordon, now you know what hard work means, don't you? For Thomas couldn't answer when they asked no bread. He just puffed slowly away to the rest and had a long dream. He went home very slowly and was careful afterwards never to be the cheeky to Gordon again.